Hey everyone, it's Rachel and welcome to Rachel Knows Things. Today I'm coming to you from a brand new condo in downtown Toronto, which is really cool. So we are going to take a tour. Hope you enjoy this. The unit today I'm going to show you is a junior one bedroom. It is about 350 square feet and it is located at Jarvis and Queens Key. Right across the street is a Loblaws, so you don't have to work very, you don't have to walk very far to get to groceries, which I think is pretty spectacular. When you first walk in through the door, the washer and dryer is right here. Very standard stacked dryer washer. Um, it's a little bit weird, I've noticed, with this brand, particular Bloomberg. Their dryer handle is on the left, but their washing machine handle is on the right. It's not a big deal, it's just a little bit odd. So as we keep going, so this unit does face east, so it is very, very bright, and it is very nice. That's the view. Pretty cool, right? Um, so here is the bedroom part of it. Um, this unit is great because it has a built-in ceiling light. Many new condos, especially in downtown Toronto, don't have any bedroom lights or any sort of additional lighting. So this is very nice to have. If we walk further, there is a closet right here. Very standard. The good thing about this is that the doors are actually very solid and very smooth. And then they have a little casing up here so it hides the, the wheels and it makes it look very presentable. As we keep going, we see that the washroom is here and the shower is here. Very interesting, right? Let me also show you the storage in the bathroom, which I think is amazing. So right here we have the sink. I really like that the sink, the faucet handle, right over, give me one second, right here. The faucet handle is on top of the sink so that when your hands are still wet, the water will drop back down into the sink so it's a lot less cleaning. And if we keep going, look at this mirror. Isn't this mirror spectacular? It is huge, and look how many lights you have. And as I open this up for you, look at that. Look at that storage. All built in, all very beautiful. And that's not the only storage there is here. If we go further down, you have one of these things and one of these things. It's like every single little nook and cranny they decide to put in more storage, which is really great. Not very many builders think that. And now let's go to the shower. The shower is its own room. You have a rain shower up top. This is a frameless shower door. So it's very sleek, very modern, very pretty. And you have your towel holder here. The fan is there. And yeah, a big bright room. You got two lights here. This unit is so bright. Shower. And the handle. I guess this is pretty standard. <laughs> and let's keep going. So this is your main living area. It's pretty spacious, it's very well laid out. It's right by, you get so much sunlight. The kitchen is very big, very bright, very high up, so you can tell that there's a lot of storage here. Um, I'm going to go in and open everything for you so you guys can see. Um, this, these two are actually very cool because when you open them, they go up. And I think that's really cool. See? It stays out of the way. And typically, this is kind of a useless cabinet because of the piping here. But no, they added extra storage here just for you. It's these little touches that I really like about a condo. This one is pretty standard. 
for your cups, dishes, the drawer up here, pretty deep, fridge, built-in fridge, and a freezer. Give me one second and I will zoom out for you. Yeah, so new condos now typically have a fridge and freezer that's about the size. This is what I call a condo size fridge. And there is so much storage here. So this, because there is a sink and piping here, it's typically a useless drawer. But no, they added something extra here as well, which I think is so cool. Um, there's a more storage down here. Um, this one is an empty storage, just like that one. But this one here is your dishwasher. And if we keep going, um, that is also another drawer. This is an oven slash microwave. And yeah, these are, this is what the drawers look like. And I don't know if you can tell based on the difficulty of me opening them, but these are all soft clothes. Whoops, I didn't push hard enough there. See, they come, they close nicely and slowly. And just another little touch that I like about this, which I didn't notice until now, is that these doors are real handles. Like, as you can see, these ones are all edge pulls. So if you have this on the door, it's actually a lot more difficult to open and having a handle really helps. Now let's take a look at the view. So right now I do have the, the door open along with the screen door, but yeah, it's, it's not too loud. I know that the highway is here, but when the door is closed, you don't even hear anything. So this is the gardener. We are, it's about 5 p.m. now. This is why you see so much traffic. Um, this is, I actually don't know which building this is, but it looks very nice and very pretty. <laughs> and if we keep going, you see a tiny slip of water right over where it's here. Here it is. And then you see more construction here. This is George Brown College. You see that little symbol? And George Brown is right there. And so I'm just gonna close it here for you and you'll see what I mean by there's not very much sound. You hear nothing and this is also very cool that you also have another window along with um, having a Julia balcony door um, there are other condos where because there would be a door here already they wouldn't bother putting a window here so this is just a very nice touch that I think is very worth it I'm gonna take you downstairs for a bit and find the locker room the locker room is pretty massive and it's pretty interesting. I'm gonna show you the mailbox area because their package pickup is also very interesting. I can't show you the amenities just yet because it is still under construction and because it is COVID, it's not open at the moment. So we're gonna go and have some fun. Well, I'm in the elevator right now and this particular unit is a little bit weird since the elevator buttons are numbers instead of actual floors. So if you're going to floor 20, you gotta type in two and zero to get to 20. So on the mezzanine floor, which is where the locker is located, and it is that way. And I will walk you to where it is. And the locker room is massive. So to get into a locker room, you typically need to beep right there to get in. And this unit, the, their particular locker is right here. Yes, right here. Like, it, it, there's no walking. There's no thing. It's very good because if you're carrying anything or storing anything, you do want to not travel very far for it. But I will walk you through the locker room because it is massive. It is, it is amazing here. Do you see all the lockers here? So we're going to go on an adventure. Yeah, you see? You see? There's more. And then there are these little like half lockers. I think they're bike lockers. You see? So many lockers. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see, let's see how far it goes. Okay, so we do see an end to it, but look, look how dense that is. So imagine if you're carrying something really heavy and you need to get to your locker way over here. That is far. And this locker number right now is 275. So I think there's, what, like three, 400 lockers here? And there are two entrances. So there was the entrance that we came in from and now we're gonna leave through the other entrance. Um, they're just right beside each other. It just helps us so that it's easier for people to come in and out depending on where their locker is located. Yeah. Ta-da! And this place is still under construction. 
So not everything is open yet. The amenities aren't open yet, but soon. Here is the mail room. It's right off the concierge. This is what I want to show you because it is very cool. So when you get your condo, um, let's say you have a package coming in, Amazon order, because you know, everyone orders from Amazon. You get your package and instead of concierge holding on to it, they will put it in a box. They will text you a code. You come here, you type in your code and it will pop open and you can open your, you can pick up your package. Very cool. Saves the concierge a lot of time. I think this is very cool and very new and yeah. I'm kind of jealous. I want one of these in my car, in my apartment. Anyways, gotta go. I hope you enjoyed the tour. This is a tour of a unit of a junior one bedroom in downtown Toronto. This pre-COVID, this rents for maybe, I'm gonna say $1,900 a month. That seems pretty fair. Um, this particular building, you just need to pay hydro, which is pretty good because a lot of the new condos, you need to pay heat, hydro, and water. So if you are a tenant or an end user, either way, you're paying $50 a month or so, as opposed to $100 a month. 